Hey, welcome back guys. This is Jason, KM4ACK, coming to you from Hamvention 2022. Let's see if I can carry you guys through some of these buildings and show you what it's like to be here. Stick around and we'll get right to it. All right, so much like it was at Hamcation, it is packed. And we'll do the best we can to uh, give you guys a glimpse of what it looks like. Coming in, uh, one of my favorite booths is right here on the left, Ham Study. And of course, Signal Stuff antennas. Great antenna. Those guys got a booth right behind there. Let's go ahead and spin around. Hey, good. How's it going? So let's get you guys spun around here. And we've got an MFJ high gain uh, booth here on the right. It's going to be a little bit difficult as we try to navigate through each of these and make sure we cover everything, but I'm going to do the best that we can. Cable Experts is here. Saw these guys in uh, Hamcation. Let's go ahead. I kind of started on the short sides first, but we'll make our way around. Hey, Shack in the Box is here again. These guys, I did a full video on them. Uh, when we were in Hamcation. If you haven't seen that, you can go back and check that out. Let's see, turning around, we've got Step IR on this side. And guys, I mean, it is a packed house. I'm filming this on Friday morning. Uh, it's about 10 o'clock right now, and it is crazy in here. Lots of traffic. RNL Electronics over on the left. And let's get flipped around over here on the right. Uh, we've got a vendor here with some uh, laptops. So laptops of every description that you could possibly do it. <laughs> I'll come back by and see you in a bit. So laptops there on that side. Uh, we saw RNL, which is still uh, right on my left. Let's see. We've got uh, VE2DX Electronics over here on the right. So they kind of got some cool stuff laid out on the table. Got some specials that they're running for Hamvention. And I turned the wrong direction coming out of there. I should have turned to the left instead of turning to the right. So let's get flipped around here. All righty. Rock cliff, A A T O V. So walking down. Yes, sir. Love your patrons. Love you. Keep up the good work. One of my patrons? Yeah, my name's Alps, Rich. I'm Alps, one of your early patrons. All right. So let's take a uh, quick look down through here. So American Contingency, uh, and they're saying ham radio with a purpose, so I might have to come back by and talk to those guys a little bit later on. We've got N3 ZN keys here, and I'm going to flip you guys around a little bit, ARDC, and Phase Doc is back. Again, this is one of those videos. We were at Hamcation, so if you guys haven't seen the Phase Dog video, uh, make, be sure to go back and uh, check that out uh, once you've uh, finished watching this one. So let's go ahead and head down one of the main aisles, see who else is in Building 1. Again, I'm not sure I said that in the very beginning, but I'm going to do uh, each of the buildings. I may end up doing that, splitting it between three different videos, or I may put it in one video and just put time marks down uh, in the description or in uh, the first comment below. So one way or the other, we'll get that uh, posted up for you. Try to make it a little bit easier for you guys to uh, find your way through. All right, so that's dzkit.com here. Hey, and I know this guy right here. Put my own mount on the bottom here so I can put it on a... Hey, there he is. Excuse me one second. Some people may recognize this, this beautiful looking man. All right, let's see if we can carry on. I ran into the Ham Radio Sensei right there for a second. I believe I did show you guys the dzkit.com uh, booth. And we've seen MFJ. So let's uh, kind of make our way across and towards the back of this building. 
So we've got 405 Laser Works uh, on our right. And then we've got the Tentec booth over here to the left. So I know there's a lot of guys that just absolutely love the Tentec radios. So good to see those guys here. Try to make our way down and uh, it looks like these guys here can help you study up if you uh, need to go ahead and advance to uh, general or extra or maybe you're looking to get your tech license might want to check those guys out Let's see what do we have over here himopen.org i believe so i'm not familiar with that i'll have to come back by and check those guys out a little bit later got the that's here and we've got BHI they do a lot of uh, great noise canceling products so those guys are here and then just beside them is hobby PCB it's kind of flip you guys around the one thing uh, I did miss here on this corner was the world's oldest wireless society so they have a booth here although it doesn't look to be manned right now now, starting up the next aisle, we've got Radio Oddity that uh, is here. So it's great to see these guys here. They carry a lot of cool stuff uh, if you're not familiar with them. Next booth looks a bit empty, doesn't it? Hmm. Uh, let's see. What do we have coming up here? I know we've got Ellicraft over here to the left. And Ellicraft has a large booth here, a uh, very large presence at Hamvention. Guys, yeah, some of these areas get a little tight and a little hard to uh, to get good uh, video through here. This is uh, Vibraplex here at this at this booth. So check this out. Talk about some keys. Just want to get you guys a shot of these keys all the way down the table. So, pretty cool to see that. All right, let's carry on. All right, we got, uh, I'm seeing DX Engineering over here in this section. In fact, this entire section looks dedicated to DX Engineering. So, see if we can make our way through here. And yeah, so DX Engineering guys are everywhere around here. We'll kind of do a slow pan here and just give you guys a general idea of what this looks like. Uh, so quite the booth. This is probably the, the largest booth that I have seen so far uh, walking through, at least in this building. Now I have already been through all three buildings, but I'm thinking this is by far the largest display that uh, is out there. So there's one more little uh, area over here. I think I've covered everything in this building. I do want to hit this one other little section before we head over to building two. So we're just going to come in and go to the right first. And this looks like all AMSAT. So another very large booth here, well represented. Uh, if you're into satellite communications, this is definitely the Hello. booth that you want to come to. So, t-shirts, hats. I'm sure if you'd never made a satellite contact, these guys could definitely help you out. We'll flip around, take a quick look at the other side of it before we head out the other end of the building here. So pretty cool little booth there. Let's get you guys flipped around and let's go check out the other end. Tell you what, it is getting warm in some of these buildings. So I'm seeing aero antenna here. I need to come back. I want to come back by and talk to those guys. Uh, maybe get an interview with them. We also have Eagle One antenna. A friend of mine, uh, has this antenna he is a big fan of that eagle one i have not had an opportunity to play with it then we got bridgecom here 
Bridgecom's got a nice little setup as always. We got a amateur television network on the right. And we are almost wrapped up with this. Hey, what's up, man? So let's uh, take a look at a couple more booths here. So we've got uh, information station specialist uh, talking about when uh, everything else goes down, radio is going to stay up. So, all right, then we got jpoles.com down here on the end. So, all kinds of jpoles, and then of course, no ham fest would be complete without seeing. Wolf River Coils here. So Wolf River Coils has a uh, nice booth again. Now I want to give you guys a sneak peek if I can. If I can borrow uh, this device, this is something brand new. Maybe we can get our hands on it on the channel later. But this is a new spike by Wolf River Coils that he has developed. So it goes in the ground. The Wolf River Coil would attach on what you're looking at on the screen there would be the left hand side. And then we've got the counter poises on the right hand side. So definitely go over to the website and check that out from Wolf River Coils. Thank you, sir. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and head into building two. I'm kind of sneaking through the uh, side doors over here instead of going through the front. It's a little bit more open. So let me get you guys flipped around so you can see a bit more of what's going on. We'll just start in the back of the room so uh, back here we've got flex radio in the corner so nice big booth from flex radio here all right we've got i2rtf.com over here so they've got uh, quite the display again lots more keys if you're a cw operator and obviously a loud test box setup. So now we've got the ICOM booth over here. This is that new offering that they've got. I haven't done a lot of research on this. I think this is uh, in the microwave band. This is a head uh, that will connect up to the 705. So I'm gonna try to get back by and get a full interview of that for you guys so that I can bring that uh, on the channel. And one other new radio, I'm not going to be able to get over there right now, but is a, I believe it's a T10, is the name of that Tango 10 radio. Let's see if we might can sneak through here just long enough to, to get a peek of this really quick. I'm not sure we're going to be able to, but, yep, so it is the IC T10. And like I said, I'll get back by and try to get uh, a full video on that so you guys will know what to expect from those two products. Let's go ahead and make our way up this aisle here. We've got Radio Waves. Radio Waves is on the left there. We've got the uh, Dayton Amateur Radio Association over here on our right. Expert Linears is here. QRP Labs. Hey, I haven't seen this booth. Somehow I overlooked this one when I walked through here earlier. But QRP Labs is here. So, for a few minutes as well. Uh, again, we got all the apparel that you could possibly want. Get your call sign, put on a hat, put on a shirt, whatever you need over there. And this looks like a Youth DX Adventure on uh, this one here so let's go ahead and make our way on up if you guys have been on youtube for any length of time you've probably seen this one uh w5kub's booth so don't think those guys are live right now but they may be going live here from the convention center or the fairgrounds rather uh in at some point in the future so we've also got uh Dayton Hamvention here. So those guys are here. Let's go ahead and take a look down through here. We got Old Man International Sideband Society. Uh, looks like a one of the local clubs. Oh, that's actually German right there. D-A-R-C dot D-E. So 
one world one language amateur radio so that's kind of cool got a uh, some Canadians here that are representing how are you guys good so we got young ladies radio league so those guys are here and let's see if we can scoot by some of these guys Lido uh, mounts and I'm definitely coming back by and talking to these guys I've got a solution right now in my uh, Jeep that I'm just not super pleased with oh wow look here the one and only Gordon so great to see him great to see him at the uh, show so outstanding he's here got a nice large booth got a lot of uh, got a lot of study material Raspberry Pi video. Hey, cool. Thank you, sir. You, Thank you. You are the expert. <laughs> <laughs> Outstanding. Thank you. Oh, thanks. So, Mr. West has got uh, quite the uh, booth here. Let's go ahead and take a look down this way and see what we got. So, this is uh, rotators here, alpha rotators. If it's something uh, you need tower or something on your tower that needs to be rotated, those guys can take care of it for you. Let's take a look down this aisle here. How are you, sir? Enjoy your show. Thank you. Hold on one second. Thank there you, you go. Sir, yes, sir. Thanks for stopping me. Uh -huh. All right, so we've got Collins here and the Collins Collectors Association. So kind of a cool little booth that they've got set up here. And then we are going to go through the ARRL section. And guys, if this is anything like it was in Orlando, it was noisy. It was one of the loudest sections of the whole show was getting inside their booth. I don't know if this is going to be exactly the same, but uh, it is definitely packed going through here as well. Thank you. So get you guys up a little bit so you can see what's going on here. Thank you. But yeah, so the ARRL has quite the presence here. Oh, check this out. Look at who we have found in the wild. Hey! How are you? And it's One the... Of my favorite guys, <laughs> Pam, R-A-C-K. We'll get right to it. <laughs> Thanks, <around>. David. <laughs> hey, hey, who is this? What is up? How are you doing? Good. Who, wait, wait. Uh, do I know you from somewhere? No, um, no. Oh, to Tango Radio. Um, um, was it Take Radio? That's it. Who is it? Take Radio. What is going on, man? Good to see you, Frank. Awesome. Awesome. All right. So let's make our way uh, after the shenanigans. Let's make our way on through the ARRL booth. We can do uh, DXCC card checking. You know, these guys, this is quite, uh, this one actually more than the other booth that I showed you guys in uh, Building 1 from DX Engineering. I believe uh, ARRL might have one now for uh, largest booth here. So we got the Ole Miss uh, Club here. I think I have actually already been down most of this. I'm going to turn you guys around. We're going to go down one more aisle, maybe two more aisles, and we'll be finished up with this building. So we got the uh, Radio Society of Great Britain, and uh, wow, quite a large booth here. Got a lot of uh, different books and things that they offer. This is another on the left over here is another uh, section of the ARRL's booth. That's actually a whole corner of the building they've got uh, rented out there. We've got uh, radio scouting over here to the right hand side. Oh, that's kind of cool. Now that, that's pretty slick right there. So it looks like a quilt that they have made and put together. And uh, I recognize the 2020 t-shirt. And uh, oh, one of my favorite t-shirts that's been out for Phil Day was the 2016. Uh, let's see, there's 2021. So several different uh, shirts that it looks like they have put together in a quilt here. So really, really kind of a cool little setup they've got. All right, let's make our way around and see if we have seen all of it. I do believe we have, guys. So, again, that was uh, Building 2. And I am going to head over to Building 3 and give you guys a walkthrough of that as well. 
All right, guys, so let's go ahead and walk into building three. And this is going to be the probably the final building that I'm going to do. There is a building four and five, but there's just not that much going on in those. So we got mass strength over here as we first come in on the right. If you uh, need things to guy out, uh, anything to do with your mass, these guys uh, probably have it. So definitely be sure you check them out. All right, flip you guys around, try not to make you sick with the spinning of the camera. Webster Communications Inc. is over here to the left now. All kinds of little gizmos and gadgets. We've got Team XCR over here. And then Antenna Systems here on the right-hand side. So Scanner Master. Scanner Master is going to be over here. Then we've got uh, Comet Antennas. It's got a very large booth here again. Over on my left now is uh, kind of a seating area just where people can uh, take a bit of a break. So, and then you've got straight ahead the HRO outlet. And I'm not even sure if I can make it through here. But got quite the presence here as well. So they're taking up both sides of of this lane see if we can get you guys a kind of a look at this try to get you up above everybody's head and I mean guys it's on both sides so see we got West Mountain Radio over here actually I thought that was uh, all HRO but it looks like uh, West Mountain Radio is over here on my left hand side as I'm walking through this and ABRS Industries is down here at the end. So, but HRO, let's flip you guys around and give you a shot of HRO's booth. Yep, yeah, and you can just see the massive counter that they've got lined up here. All kinds of radios sitting back there on the shelves, so drop by and uh, take a look at that if you're in the area. Oh, the Yezu booth. Yezu has got a very large booth here. Looks like somebody's getting punched to go in. Can I sneak right through here, please, sure. sir? Thank you. All right, so let's go ahead and just kind of make our way down through the Yezu booth. Yep. So not sure why everybody's getting a ticket punch. It might be entering some sort of a contest. I'll have to come back and figure that out. I probably don't qualify since I came in under media credentials. So, but Yezu definitely has both sides of the aisle taken up here, as you can see. So, oh, awesome, thank you. Oh, all right, so let's see, that's Yezu. Let's go ahead and walk straight ahead. I do not think we've been down through this aisle. We got Quicksilver Radio on the left. And quite the presence here. And then over on the right hand side, we've got the diamond antenna display. So, looks like we got some uh, construction equipment up here ahead. That's all the loud beeping that you may be hearing. I'm not sure if they're changing lights or plugging in extension cords. <coughs> uh, there's a piece of equipment that's causing the racket. And we'll go ahead and keep making our way down through. You never know what you're going to get when you come to one of these. All kinds of uh, things can happen and uh, different processes that go on to keep all of this up and running. So lots of little boosts like this. You know, I tell you guys all the time, nifty manuals, nifty manuals, nifty manuals. I'm a huge, huge fan of this. So this is a great place to pick one up. And usually you can save a few bucks at the ham fest compared to uh, trying to buy them online. Tower Electronics is here. I see these guys at just about every ham fest I go to. They were in Huntsville last fall. Uh, they were in uh, Orlando back in February. So they have uh, quite the presence here. Yeah, we're gonna, I've got another vendor over here that's got all kinds of uh, hats and things that you can get your call sign put on. We've got uh, Tunamatic here, so with a booth. And then we're going to make our way on down and take a look. Uh, we'll walk you through 
the Gigapart site here. Coming up, uh, a little bit of a traffic jam. Let's see if we can get around that. And we'll go down and check out the Gigaparts booth here. Now, they've got a couple of new things in the works that I want to talk to them about. I think I can share that on video. Hopefully, I can share that on video. Uh, if you guys sign up for their uh, newsletter, you may recognize this guy right here. There's the bargain basement guy. He's got all the specials in uh, each of the newsletters as they come out. Something else that's here uh, that is really, really awesome. I thought this was a really cool uh, project. I think I did two different videos on this, and that is DigiRig. And the actual creator of DigiRig, we don't want to interrupt him too terribly much, but that is the creator of the DigiRig. So awesome to see him here at Hamvention as well. All right. Excuse me, guys. Thank you. All right, so that was Gigaparts, and I believe that brings us all the way back uh, out to the outside, and I think that I got everything covered in Building 3. So we'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching.